Hello again, YouTube family. I have another video to share that is um, was put up by Gwendolyn Song, who I haven't listened to in a very long time, mainly because she supports Dr. O.R., and I know that he, that man is not a prophet, okay? But she believes he is, so, you know, we have our differences. But with this issue, uh, we can agree, okay? The title of the video is called Urgent Call to Prayer and Fasting for U.S. Military. She says she got it from the Lord to do it on February the 14th. Okay, now... I could see why God would want us to pray and fast for the military. And I can even see him wanting us to do it on the day that is, uh, yet again, comes from the Catholic Church. And uh, I know they hate me saying that. And it's probably why I lost a lot of subscribers. Because I had a feeling from the comments. Uh, some of them were once saved, always saved. And some of them were Catholic. But anyway, enough of that. If you feel led to do this, our military could use our prayers. Now, if you have a big date planned, reservations made with your loved one, I call it Love Day. I don't like celebrating Saint Anything Day. But, um... You know, if I was still married and my husband wanted to take me out to eat, I wouldn't turn it down. You know, of course, if we were on the same level, he would probably want to make it any day but the 14th. So consider that, all right? You'll run into fewer people. Doesn't have to be on the 14th. If you want to join in on praying for the U.S. military. Um, you can listen to this if you want to or just write it down on your calendar to pray and fast on the 14th. If you have a health condition that um, demands that you eat five small meals a day, then eat your five small meals a day. Try going without anything sweet. Try fasting from your favorite shows. Try spending the time you would have watched those shows in the Word. Something. People fast from TV shows. I've done that when I did the 21-day fasts. I cut out all sweets and my favorite show. That was back when I used to watch a particular medical series on Netflix. That was back when I had Netflix. But after I started my YouTube channel, I stopped watching Netflix. Well, about a year after, probably. I guess I was growing. It took me a little while to completely, not completely grow. I could still use some more growing to help me. Lord, I've been so down today. And I'm just very sad because this place gets their second round of you-know-what tomorrow and I just for a little bit there I wanted to punch the wall instead I just had a breakdown and bawled in front of the lady at the desk on the second floor because my stupid mask kept fogging up my glasses you know it's just weariness you know there's that scripture about Satan's going to do all he can to Wear down the saints. Boy, howdy, is that coming to pass? Anyway, I'm going to end it here. Y'all can watch this. It's on Seho Song's channel. You know, they got married. If you didn't know, Gwendolyn, um, I don't know when they met or how, but she was, man, she was a spitball on fire. I watched her every video before she married Seho, and then I found out she was, then she finally came back on as Gwendolyn Song. I can't remember her other name, but anyway, 
I didn't have to watch Dr. O.R. very often to know there is no way. And I told her, and she stood up for him, and she still continues to follow him. And that man is as evil as the day is long, and I can say that because I know it in my spirit. Anyway, I'm over with this one, over and out. I love you all. I'll talk to you later.